Hello everyone and welcome back to That Paradox Gaming and we're playing Subnautica. So this is a neat title, it's available on Steam, it's still in development, but basically it's a kind of survival, voxel-esque, um, yeah, uh, game. <laughs> so I thought I'd just have a bit of a play, show you guys some stuff. I've been playing this probably for about uh, five or six hours and um, so far I've managed to construct like a, a bit of a base here. So this is my base. Let's just have a quick look through there. So yeah, as you can see here is, um, you know, just a bunch of rooms. I built it around this kind of underground garden thing, so you can see in there. Not a lot in it at the moment, the base is still under construction now. Go into how you do some of the base building stuff. Um, I'm about to starve, so let's just take a look at... I don't think I've got any food, so... Should probably get on the food sitch. So, um, basic survival. Um, you just grab fish. Uh, now this little thing I've got here in my hand is called a... What's it called again? A sea glide. And basically it uses power, but it moves you around a lot faster than just swimming. Um, so we've got a fish. This is a, called a pepper, I believe. And ugh, catching fish can be a little difficult. Um, ah, got him. So you can see I've got him there in my hand now. <laughs> so what I can do with that is if we uh, swim back. So when you spawn, you are you start off in this life pod thing. So I may as well uh, just show that first. So you start off in uh, just in this thing over here. Um, so this is an escape pod. Basically your ship has crashed. And you can see that burning on the horizon. Um, and you can use this, there we go, fabricator it to cook your food. You also use this uh, fabricator for all of your construction, um, or not all your construction, but to build pretty much all your items and stuff. So I will eat that pepper. Look at that, and we're in better shape now. So, um, let's get back over to... Let's see, should we go to the base? So here's the base. Now, um, yeah, actually, before you probably start building a base, you might want to start building submarines. So this here is um, <clears throat> uh, the... I've forgotten what it's called. Cyclops? It's an amazing, amazing submarine that you can build. Uh, I'm going to build a smaller one that you can actually put inside that called a sea moth. So uh, let's just jump on. So this is a constructor. You can build it in your fabricator and you use it to build your vehicles. And here we can see I've got all I need to build a Seamoth. So let's build that. And what we should see is, look at that. Starts constructing over there. The little drones fly off to start building it. Quite cool. Oop, and... So there's my Seamoth. <laughs> nice. Oh, this little thing is cool. Look at that. Nice. So how do I get it? Just look at it. Oh, nice. Very rad. Now, my understanding is that this can actually dock. Here we go. If I come under here. Dock Seamoth. Oh, my God. Look how cool that is. What? Ha, <laughs> And you can see my Seamoth is docked inside my sub. Very cool. And of course I can pilot the big sub um, from here. You can also build inside it. So I've actually built all, most of the stuff in this room I have built. So there's a couple of lockers with some supplies and stuff in there. Another fabricator. Now this fragment analyzer, basically you use the fra fragment analyzer to research new technologies. So you'll find stuff around the world that you can whack in there. The workbench is used to upgrade your um, equipment. I've upgraded my current breathing tanks, which you can see I carry around with me uh, here and here. So those are high capacity and last longer. There's a fair amount you can do in this game. I think at the moment you could probably first play and maybe with a bit of replay value, I, I reckon you could be entertained by this game from probably about 12 to 20 hours. Um, and yeah, let's just craft some titanium. Oh, we can see the power of my sub is getting low. Interesting. <clears throat> if we go back here to the engine room, you can see these power cells and they're all running very low. So I'm going to have to fill them up. That one's full, but yeah. So as you can see, top of my screen there, power 20%. So 
Yeah, I've used a lot of the power here on my station. Um, I was just thinking to upgrade this, I'm just going to need, what, copper? Oh, yeah, I could probably, hold on. If I craft a battery, and we go here. So to craft a battery is under electronics. There we go. And it requires three acid mushrooms and some copper ore. I'll show you mining and gathering in a sec. Um, and we just come over here. Knife, we can see we've got an upgrade to make it a heat blade, and that uses a knife and a battery. So the battery we just made. Da -da. Very cool. And now, knife. Nice. Now also, um, you can see I built this stuff in here. You use a builder in order to do that. So that's kind of cool. Uh, if you right click with it, you get a bunch of build options. So these are like the, so these are all the bits I will use to make my base. Um, here's power. So it has, um, so the base has power. And here you can see all the uh, stuff like a, a locker, the fragment analyzer, which you can see over there. The workbench that you can see here. I'm not sure if there might might still be some stuff for me to research and build. I'm not sure. So here we can see that's actually the ship that you crashed on. The whole crew died. You were the only survivor. Only one to make it to an escape pod. Don't know what everyone else was doing that they couldn't make it to an escape pod, but okay. Um, nice. So yeah, now as for resource gathering and stuff, let's go somewhere maybe I haven't, um, haven't mined so much. So most of this stuff, like you can harvest, with your knife, you can harvest this creep vine stuff that you see floating around here. Um, as you can see, it's, the, the underwater environments are, are really interesting. Um, this one, maybe not so much. This is kind of just sand and rock, but... There are some incredible looking places, especially sometimes when you get down quite deep, there's some amazing stuff. So here's something you're going to find. You're going to find a lot of scrap from your um, from the wreckage of the ship. You can take that and refine it. Um, let's grab that. There we go. Just some food for later. Um, ah, yeah. So you'll see around the world these little rocks. Just kind of, you know, they kind of stick out. Limes limestone chunks. From that, you can get stuff like titanium and copper, silver, gold. Now, you need to get deeper to get the more rare things like gold and diamond. Um, I think under 200 meters or something approximately for that. So, I did... Ooh. Okay, so I'm running out of food. I'm going to have to eat something again soon. So, I don't want to go back. Um, oh, yeah. Now, if you want water, actually, um, these guys are great for water. Ugh, if I can grab it. There we go. So that's these um, air sacs. Oh, and here's something else. See this? Uh, this is quartz. Grab as much quartz as you can. You need it to make uh, glass and silicon. Two things that you're going to use a fair bit of. Now you see the beacons going off there. That um, basically all your stuff should have beacons. So, um, oh, sorry, your subs. I believe your big sub has a beacon, your, um, and your life pod has a beacon. You can also craft beacons, see that B2, that's a beacon I crafted, and stuck that under my base, so I'd always know how to get back. Now, as you can see on the left hand side on my statistics, um, my air supply is kind of, goes for a while, I can be underwater for quite some time. When you start off and you don't have like any oxygen tanks or anything, um, I think you can only stand underwater for about 30 seconds or so, so it makes it hard to get down to deep places and stuff. Nice! Um, so, we've done crafting. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Ooh, let's get back inside. Uh, let's just... So you can see a bunch of other things I've cre created, like um, steel. These are med kits, like first aid kits and stuff. Uh, bleach is a handy one to make. You just need to get uh, chunks of coral and find bits of salts on the uh, on the ground. And uh, yeah, you can craft that into bleach, which you can then use to make water. So um, let's say my water's not looking fantastic. So what I'll do is we'll cook up. <clears throat> the boomerang that we found is a type of fish and we could cook uh, cook up that air sac but it's not really worth a lot so um of food sorry so actually you can turn that into a filtered water with the air sac you can see it on the recipe there um disinfected water using the bleach which i was just talking about before so we'll turn that into water as well Yep, we're drinking bleach. No, it's uh, just uh, making, you know, like purified water. Nice, so we just drink those, and fantastic. And I have two heat blades, apparently. Don't know why that happened, but okay. And I'll eat the boomerang. 
There we go. So yeah, look, guys, that's sort of the basics. Um, and we can see the little glitch. I made part of my base stick out above the top of the ocean, and the uh, the water effect still there. So is still there. So that's something I imagine is probably going to get you know taken out in later versions. But I do like how the the base looks here, especially just going around this little coral garden thing with all the windows looking at it. Yeah, I do like that. Uh, cool, cool. So maybe we'll show a bit of building. Have I got enough to build? I can probably just like maybe attach. Or actually, you know what? I'll start a new base just over here somewhere, which I can just completely deconstruct. Um, building the base does tend to modify the terrain a little bit, so I might just go a little bit away. Oh, and also I mentioned uh, coral chunks earlier. You can get them from these things, so just right click with your blade. There we go, coral chunks. Neat. Um, Alright, let's just go down here and we'll start building a base. So, start off with a corridor. I'm not going to have most of the things you need to on me to build, like glass and stuff to make the windows, but you can see here how that goes green. That just means it's going to attach there. Or you can attach it to the edge there or there. And so that would make a window on any of those parts. Um, but yeah, yeah, or you can just, there we go, we'll just put that there. As you can see, we're starting to build like an underwater thing. You need to put a hatch on it, of course. And there's just all these different shaped kind of corridors. You can put a ladder on, so if you just build like um, uh, a corridor on top, and then you can just build the ladder in between the two floors. It's all fairly simple. You can deconstruct everything as well. Hold E and pulls it all apart. So that's pretty handy. Um, also powering your base, you've literally just got to put, um, at the moment, a solar panel on there somewhere. As long as it's touching the base, uh, it should all get power. And yeah, I've got two solar panels on my base at the moment. Seems to be, well, more than enough. Uh, Nice. I'm just trying to think what else there's. Look, there is a lot to this game, so you can obviously craft um, using the... Uh, oh, here's salt there, so Mitt was talking about before at the moment. I think that's going to be a you know, placeholder texture. But yeah. Um, but yeah, obviously you can make a lot of equipment, different equipment, different tools. I have made a stasis rifle, which is kind of cool. Um, basically, it'll just freeze anything that gets caught in it, which is kind of neat. Um, can be a yeah, a bit of a lifesaver if something starts to attack you. Yeah. Look, guys. Um, That's probably, yeah, everything interesting. There's, there's a lot you can do. I am still yet to actually go explore the um, the crash of the Aurora, I think it's called. Um, so I haven't checked that out yet. Uh, a lot of stuff needs batteries, so you'll find yourself crafting a lot of them. That's uh, They're fairly easy to make if you just get your hands on some copper. And uh, you just need three of these uh, mushrooms. <laughs> um, and yeah. Now, as for like exploring the world, well, there's like lots of you know little caves. I think th I think this is procedurally generated. Yeah, you can like change. Well, you can dig up sand. So there you go. That's something you can do. Um, oh. Oh, there we go. And. This thing would actually attack me, will actually attack me. It can only hurt you if its mouth hits you. Um, so you can get, or if it's like charges at you and its mouth hits you. So usually you can actually just nail these things. What I might do is, um, here we go. Oh, I'm going to run out of air in a second. There we go. Oh, better get to the surface. Ooh, my screen was starting to dim there. So yes, you do have to worry about drowning. That 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 is a concern. Um, this guy is still in the stasis bubble, so hopefully we can kill him. Yep, looks like we got him. Um, nice. There's another one up there. Yeah. Well, look, guys. Um, oh, look at this. We can pick up that boomerang. It's still frozen. That's cool. Nice. Oh, there we go. That uh, stasis field ended. Anyway, guys, look. Get into this game. Just from watching this, you've seen all the basics. I mean, it's pretty much everything you need to know. Um, you know, just the crafting and stuff. Uh, you can always wiki if you're having trouble finding, you know, when you, where you find certain resources and stuff. Um, 
Yeah. Oh, one thing to bear in mind just when you're doing base building is that there's like a structural integrity sort of thing going on. So you can see um, this is a reinforcement. So you might need to, your base will start to leak if you put like too many windows on there and stuff. You're going to need a few reinforcements around the place just to maintain like pressure or something. So you can see there's no reinforcement there. It's kind of annoying because it would be nice just to have windows all over the thing. But, oh well, I guess that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Alright guys, well look, check out Subnautica, check out Dust Boat, and um, yeah, let me know what you think. Also, this supports the Oculus Rift, I played on it for a while, and it was quite, quite cool, quite enjoyed it. Nice guys, well I hope you've enjoyed this, and yeah, hit me up in the comments, check me out on Twitter on that paradox, and yeah, I'll catch you guys next time, cheers.